in the middle areas. So as the cruise goes on and you're going to have this, you have a back catalog of performers. Um, do you have performers approach you saying, I want to do that again? And you have to say there's no space for them this year? Do the, do the question is, do we, as we uh, have more and more people who have perform performers who have done the cruise once, do they come back to us and say, hey, I'd like to do that again? And the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it kind of gets harder and harder every year because there's a longer and longer oh, list of long. our friends and fellow performers who, uh, who we did not invite. <laughs> every year it's a bigger, bigger list. And it's also, it's part of that sort of alchemy that Jonathan was talking about of, you know, we're trying to find the balance of you know, mix of old performers and new and mix of musicians versus comedians versus other and such, and it, uh, you know, trying to strike that balance, sometimes it is tough to, you know, we would love to say yes to every former performer and, and get them back on the ship, and the fact is we just have limited spaces to, to fill, uh, but it is not that, uh, there, it's not like there are any previous performers who are blackballed and will, you know, will never ever come back because we hate them or anything like that. Yeah, it's a question of scale, like if we were in, you know, if we had a ship of 2,000 people, uh, then there'd be much more programming we could do that would open up problems of its own. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a dream world, yeah, we'd absolutely love to have everyone who has been on past cruises and also introduce you to new people. Cruise crazy, everyone all the time. <laughs>